Okay, this is what your gas meter is going to look like. Uh, inlet pipe is here, coming out of the ground, comes up here to the regulator, where it's regulated down to the 7 inches of water column, which is generally what we have, and it comes out here. And this is a piping that goes into whatever the structure is. Now when we're uh, going to clock a meter, we're going to time how long it takes one of these dials to go around. Okay, these top ones we don't use. Those are for determining how much gas you've used. These bottom ones move much faster than the top ones. We've got one here that's a half a cubic foot and it's measuring in cubic feet. Uh, one cubic foot generally equals 1,000 BTUs of energy. This one here is a two foot. Some of these come with a quarter foot and a one foot dial. The one half foot is a little bit too hard to read for us uh, to measure the time it takes to rotate. So we'll use this two foot dial and see if we can get you a little closer here. If you look closely at this two foot dial, there's an arrow that tells you which way the uh, needle moves. You want to time this one complete revolution, it was all the way around once, and you're going to time it from the upswing of the needle. Now this needle, if it's traveling counterclockwise, you don't want to start on the downside because these, uh, these uh, meters, they just have little plastic dials in them. And that stuff is kind of loose. So when the weight of the needle itself is on the gears, it'll be accurate. But a lot of times when it goes over center, it kind of jerks as it goes down. So we don't check it that way. We start our timing at one point on the upswing, go all the way around until we reach that same point. Okay, all other appliances have to be off when you do this test. You're just testing the one appliance. Now you can see that two foot dial is going down. Do not hit it on the bottom one, but start your timer when it hits the first notch on the way up. Okay, now it's going ahead and starting doing the timing. Okay, I'm going to time lapse this thing and speed it up so that. Uh... You don't have to wait for it. Okay, 136.9, so we'll call it 137. Try it again. Again, I'm going to go ahead and speed this thing up and uh, so you don't have to wait for it. Okay, we end up with 137.3. The other one was 136.9, so we're pretty close on that. I guess I would... Uh, have to call that 137. Okay, now we're going to take this data and we're going to calculate how many BTUs per hour are going into this appliance. Okay, in order to calculate what the flow through the meter is, we take that 97 seconds we got off the meter. So it takes 97 seconds to make one rotation. One rotation moves two cubic feet of gas. 
So divide 97 seconds by 2, and that equals 48.5, round to 49. So it takes 49 seconds to move one cubic foot of gas. One cubic foot of gas equals 1,000 BTUs of heat. The furnace is rated in BTUs per hour. So we need the number of seconds in one hour. That's 3,600, 60 seconds times 60 minutes. So if it takes 49 seconds to move one cubic foot, or 1,000 BTUs, divide 3,600 by 49, you get 73.5. Round to 74, 74 times 1,000 equals 74,000 BTUs. 74,000 BTUs is the number of BTUs burned by the appliance in one hour, as calculated by clocking the meter. Now take the time to go over this until you understand it. There are charts you can use, but you might as well just figure out the math. And uh, then we're going to go back down to the furnace. Okay, this is a picture of the uh, model and serial plate. On the right third, you'll see input natural gas 75,000. Okay, we came up with 74,000 when we clocked the meter. So we're th within 1,000 uh, BTUs of what the factory says it is, and that's pretty much close enough. And that's how to clock the meter.